your voice and worship this merciful God this faithful God this loving God this caring God this God that is so caring that has kept us from January to now supplying all our need meeting all our need this God that answer prayers this God that is so caring and merciful this so God that is so compassionate can you lift up your voice to him and just worship him this morning tell God you are grateful for another brand new day tell God you are grateful for the gift of life tell God you are grateful for good health today tell God you are grateful for preserving your going out and your coming in thank God that you are grateful for supporting you at all times oh Lord we are grateful almighty God we are grateful special God we are grateful thank you for being our God you are the pillar of our life you are the lover of our soul you are our shield you are our fortress you are our buckler you are our refuge you are our strong tower you are our great deliverer you are our great helper you are our great promoter Lord we are grateful to you this morning thank you thank you thank you thank you for loving us thank you for caring for us thank you for helping us Thank for hearing our cry. Thank you, God, for blotting out all our iniquities and transgressions. Thank you for washing us in, our, in your blood. Thank you for purging and purifying us. Thank you for your heaven over all that is open. Thank you, O oh God, for divine guidance and leading. Thank you for inspirations and ideas. Thank you for prospering the work of our hand. Thank you for our homes, for our families. Thank you for the works of our hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your church. Thank you for this program. Thank you, O oh God, for everything, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. I thought the Bible, I thought you would say better. Amen. The Bible says, He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh shall obtain mercy. I want her to go before God this morning and say, Father, say, Father, I am not here this morning to parade my spiritual CV like the Pharisees, but I come like the Republican and I humble myself before you and I acknowledge all my shortcomings, I acknowledge all my weaknesses, I acknowledge all my unfaithfulness. And I'm saying, Lord, have mercy on me today. That nothing will hinder my prayers today. That in your mercy you will hear my cry. Oh, go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Go ahead, ask for mercy over you, over your home, over your family. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I told somebody who say it louder. Amen. If you are excited to see another brand new morning, another brand new day, the day of commencement of year 2023 Congress, can you jam your hand and appreciate the Almighty God? If you are glad that God has brought you to the week of repositioning, the week of repositioning, where God will be repositioning the poor to the wealthy, where God will be positioning the weak. To the area of strength can you celebrate and put your hands together amen and amen and amen i want to encourage you you must not meet this convention it is divine repositioning a lot of people are going to change position a lot of people with their situations are going to change don't wait to hear others testimony but let others hear your own testimony and the Almighty God will hear all of us in Jesus' name. Second Samuel chapter three verse one. Second Samuel chapter three verse one. Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David was stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul was weaker and weaker. I am praying for somebody this morning that in that name that is above every other name, 
the house of your enemies we was weaker and weaker I don't know the long war you have been fighting I don't know for how long that battle has been there but I have come to announce to you that you will not end defeated because here the Bible is summarizing what transpired between David and Saul and we all know how Saul was pursuing David and there are many of us here enemy have been pursuing us they are even planning to pursue you into 2024 in that name that is above every other name every enemy that resemble Pharaoh that want to pursue you into 2024 God will weaken them I said they will not get there with you lift up your two hands and cry loud and clear and say father no matter the wars of life that I am fighting no matter the enemies against me according to your word and at the order of David let me work stronger and stronger let me get better every day of my life let me work stronger spiritually let me work stronger physically let me work stronger financially let me work stronger materially lord let me work stronger and stronger mark apoka to gaza jelele gazunta ndelele ah almighty god let me work stronger and stronger stronger and stronger stronger and stronger Brethren, to the look at shantale are you pray for yourself that you work stronger and stronger even on a daily basis Karaka poka shanta le baba kasianta le ada lot to strengthen you to work stronger and stronger to work stronger and stronger poka pa yagada ba jele poko to kasianta le bramba koto gele prako to le ma shanta le rakuka pa kote gazande manto da lipo kasianta la brondo ko santa le hey jesus Precious name, we are praying. I trust someone will say better. Amen. amen. You will take the same prayer in a reverse way and lift up your hands. Say, Father, all the days of my life, let my enemy never be stronger than me. In the name of Jesus, can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God that your enemy will never be stronger than you? No way, no way, no way. They will not be stronger physically. They will not be stronger spiritually. Ah, my Reba Baba. Lord, let my enemy never be stronger than me. Let the enemy of my ministry never be stronger than me. Let the enemies of my home, of my marriage, of my wife, of my children never be stronger than them. In the name of Jesus. Masuka Pala Branda. Sokotololo Kasindale. Bakuka Payega Dagaga. Anyone fighting me unknown to me. Anyone standing on my way unknown to me. Lord, let them never be stronger than me. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Another way to pray that prayer is to lift up your hands and say, Father, according to your word, at the order of Saul, let all my enemies was weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. Spiritually, physically. Let them was weaker and weaker. Oh, Marie, Mama, 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 Mama. Sali Brando Kotoka, Shanta, Mama. Let them was weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. Kapako to Lebo Shanta. Zezelebo. Si Prakataka, Shanta, Mama. Susala Baba Baba. Korobro Kotoka Santa. Zazala Baba Baba. Kayaka Kutalia. Let them was weaker and weaker. In Jesus mighty name we are praying the bible said the lord granted the year with goodness with his goodness i want you to lift up your two hands and say father whatever that will make me to end this joy to end this year in joy whatever i need to end this year celebrating i am my household Oh God, my Father, deliver them to me now. Can you open your mouth and talk to the Almighty God? 
whatever you need oh spiritually physically financially materially oh maritally kalima kasontalia ministerially in your business in your career whatever you need to end this year well to end this year rejoicing to end this year celebrating ask god to release it to you masuka payekatolia reka kaba baba 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 ba zala brando kotoka gente li mama in jesus mighty name we are praying you lift up your two hands and say father say father whatever evil remaining in this year whatever tragedy and calamity remaining this year whatever pestilence and plagues remaining this year whatever disaster remaining this year here i am oh god as for me and my household take them far away from us and let it never be our portion can you open your mouth and talk to the mighty god that whatever evil remaining whatever disaster whatever tragedy whatever calamity whatever problem whatever trouble whatever pain lord take away from all by your mercy and by your power take away from every member of this city of light take away from all your children ah karaba tokasiantalia brother are you praying for yourself are you praying for yourself karabu kutugaza ye kakutanda li kakutaya gelea gagaba suantali kaka tell god i refuse to mourn i refuse to weep i refuse to sorrow i refuse to run head task in the name of jesus lord hear my cry in jesus my name we are praying now lift up your two hands to heaven and say father unto you i hand over my day and this week oh god my father i decree and i declare today shall be a fruitful day for me a blessed day for me a day of progress a day of rejoicing a day of help a day of celebration a day of favor a day of breakthrough a day of blessing a day of profit open your mouth and begin to talk to the lord talk to the lord speak into the day speak into the day speak into the day ah man rama maka shantalia let this day oh god be glorious let this day god be a fruitful day a day of glad tidings a day of progress i will not be stagnated today nothing will work against me today all will be well with me today all throughout today and this week in the name of jesus karaba katoga zanda marema mama mama karema mama mama karaba baka siantalia katanda lepo kasanda in jesus mighty name we are praying Finally, lift up your two hands and cry out the class, Father. In this year, Congress of Divine Repositioning. Oh God, my Father, give me my own testimony. Can you go ahead and pray for yourself? Ah, the Congress is starting today. Ah, let God make you number one beneficiary. Let God give you a testimony. Brother, open your mouth, talk to the Almighty God. We have been announcing it, we have been advertising it. Oh, let God make you a partaker of the testimony of your 2023 Congress eh, of divine repositioning. Ah, Karaba Kaswanta. Tell God you will not be a spectator, you will be a beneficiary. Thank you, mighty Adam. In hey, Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so, my father and my God, we say good morning. Lover of our soul and the pillar of our life, we magnify you. We say you are an awesome God. You are a mighty God. You are a powerful God. You are a glorious God. You are a merciful God. You are a kind God. You are a caring God. You are a supportive God. That is accept our worship in the name of Jesus. Thank you for what you did throughout last week. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for awesome testimony. Thank you for healings. Thank you for deliverances. Thank you for victory. Lord, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Mighty Father, we refuse, O God, Father, 
to hide our inadequacies from you. Therefore, oh God, we register our weaknesses. We register our inadequacy. Lord God Almighty, have mercy in the name of Jesus. And in your mercy, hear our cry in the name of Jesus. Mighty Father, you are the one that fought for David. That in all the long war between him and Saul, David kept waxing stronger and stronger. Lord, in that vein, I decree concerning every soul, I decree concerning every man and woman under the influence of my voice, either physically here or online, ah, you will work stronger and stronger. I say the Almighty God will cause you to work stronger and stronger. Financially, you work stronger and stronger. Materially, you work stronger and stronger. In physical strength, you work stronger and stronger. Spiritually, you work stronger and stronger. You will never be weak all the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, your enemy shall never be stronger than you. Ah, rather, your enemy will grow weaker and weaker. At the order of Saul, in the name of Jesus. And whatever you need in life to end year 2023 rejoicing and celebrating, let my God deliver it to you today in the name of Jesus. I say, whatever you need to jump for praises, to sing a new song as you round up year 2023, ah, let the heaven be open and let the angel deliver them in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that whatever evil remaining this year, whatever disaster, whatever tragedy, whatever calamity, as for you and your household, God will take them far away from you. As you have spoken into this day, so shall it be for you. For this day shall be a fruitful day for you, a blessed day for you, a day of progress, a day of glad tidings, a day of breakthrough, a day of help. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. And as the Congress of Divine Repositioning is commencing today, ah, I pray for you, you will not be a spectator. Hey, I say you will not be a spectator. Ah, why all that are testifying, they will hear your testimony. I say God will cause your testimony to be heard. And whatever are your desire, as you come here this morning, I decree your expectation will not be cut short. Let God meet you at the point of your need. Ah, every blessing that you have been crying to God. Ah, because you are standing here right now, let my God deliver them to you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of highest. For we pray in Jesus' name. I thought your amen will be louder than everybody. Jam your hands together and make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And then lift up your right hand and say with me, The Lord God Almighty is strong in battle. The Lord of hosts is his name. Jehovah, the man of war, that have never lost any war. Forever he will be my God. He deserves my praises and thanksgiving. Every day of my life, I will magnify his holy name. And I will proclaim his faithfulness. I declare and I confirm concerning me and my household that at the order of the house of David, we shall work stronger and stronger every day of our life. In every battle of life, we shall be stronger than all our enemies. We shall not suffer defeat in the hand of our enemy. The Lord of hosts shall constantly fight all our battle he will certainly he will certainly contend against them those that contend against us and we shall rejoice over all our enemies I declare and I confirm that at the order of Saul the house of all my enemies shall was weaker and weaker and I shall reign over them all. The Lord shall establish my dominion over all my adversaries. They shall be like arches under the sole of my feet. I shall trample upon them under my feet. The Lord shall make my enemy a footstool. As long as I live, 
I shall be victorious and the Lord shall give me all round victory I declare and I proclaim that I shall spend the rest of my days celebrating and rejoicing and my joy shall never know end I shall celebrate the goodness of my God I shall celebrate my victory I shall celebrate my good success I shall celebrate my breakthrough and prosperity I shall celebrate my fruitfulness increase and multiplication and I know that even my enemy shall so rejoice with me I will finish well I will finish strong my ending shall be far better than my beginning I will not go to hell I will reign eternity and I will love the Lord and I will serve the Lord all the days of my life in Jesus name we well, have blast in the Holy Ghost for one minute Masuka paye kato liande Zebra onta gaza Jimale boto gazika kutali Rama tondelele Ziglandeka kotanda liba shenteli Mako kapa zipoto loboshka Zabrando koto gazintali Thank you my dear father In Jesus Wonderful name we are praying I said myself in pastoral agreement with you that 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 your mouth has spoken and declared God almighty will bring it to pass I mean you will testify and any power saying your confession no come to pass let God destroy them and I pray for you sir I pray for you man that my God will visit you and fight your battle and surely you will celebrate and you will rejoice in the name of God the father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. I jam your hands together and say that amen five powerful times. Two, three, four, five. Put your hands together for Jesus. Uh, can I pray for only one person? Your great potentials shall manifest. In the name of Jesus. Let me sit there very quickly because of time. We don't want to waste time this morning. Amen. And quickly, I want you to know that after this morning, good morning, Holy Spirit, there will be no any weekly activities here in this church till Sunday. Praise the Lord. And on Sunday is going to be just two services. Praise ye the Lord. Harvest the harvest of great grace and power. The harvest of what? Great grace and power. Acts chapter 4, verse 23 to 33. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said unto them. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth, and the sea, and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, we gather together for to do whatsoever thy hand and thy cancer determined before to be done. And now, Lord, behold, they are threatening and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word. Praise the Lord. By stretching forth thy hand to heal and thy signs and wonder may be done by the name of thy holy child, Jesus. And when they had and when they had prayed, the play was shaking 
where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. May you be free today. And they speak the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed were his own. But they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostle witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. Beloved, this is our month of harvest. And I am praying for somebody here today. You will have harvest of great grace and power. The apostles experience a harvest. What did they experience? A harvest. And that harvest was summarized or is summarized in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 33 as great grace and great power. But the Bible says, and with great power gave the apostles witnesses of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them. What? Oh, praise the Lord. What is the harvest of great grace and power? When you are talking about the harvest of great grace and power, what does it mean? Number one, the great the harvest of great grace and power means the harvest of signs and wonders. Can I pray for somebody? You are ending this year in signs and wonders. Can your amen swallow that of your neighbor? Because after they got that harvest, I'm going to tell you how they got the harvest. When they got that harvest of great grace and power, the Bible says, in Acts chapter 5 verse 12 to 16 he said and by the hand of the apostle we are what many signs and wonder wrought among the people and they were all with one accord in Solomon's Porsche. praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord and when you read further you discover that the sick were brought and they were being healed the harvest of great grace and power can be summarized as harvest for what? Signs and wonder. I am praying for you. This December, my God will run signs and wonder in your life and we also use you to perform signs and wonder. If you are saying amen, say loud and clear. The harvest of great grace and power is the harvest of drawing multitude to God's kingdom. Is the harvest of what? Can I pray for only one person? May the Lord use you to draw souls to his kingdom. Maybe you lift up your two hands and pray that prayer using yourself and say, Father, do a thing in my life that will bring many to the knowledge of salvation. Do a thing in my life that we draw sinners to your kingdom. Can you go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself? Karibo to Kazanta Limama, Kara Mama Kakota Libra de Kasianta, Mama Kakata. Oh, Masinte le Baba Kashanta Limama, Kara Brando Kasianta, Kaze Katon de Lebo Kasianta. In Jesus' mighty name, it shall be so. What is harvest of great grace and power? The harvest of great grace and power is harvest of victory. Is harvest of what? Don't forget that when you read the Bible passage that we just read, it started by saying that the elders, the who? And the chief priests were persecuting, were troubling the apostles. Praise the Lord. And they now went to God in prayers. 
And at the end of the day, the Bible says they got a harvest for their prayers. They got a harvest for their service. And that harvest was summarized with the word great grace and power. Meaning from that day onward, God gave them victory over their persecutor. Can I pray for you, sir? Every troublers of your life, every pursuers of your destiny, although they will not allow you to have rest, they will not follow you until 2024. Ah, I stand here this morning and I am praying for you by the reason of great grace and power. God will give you all round victory. Victory over household wickedness. Victory over witches and wizards. Victory over satanic authors. Victory over territorial powers. Victory over the prince of the air. In the mighty name of Jesus. Victory over the queen of the coast. In the name of Jesus. You will not suffer defeat. In the name of Jesus. You will be lifted above your enemy. God will give you victory. God will turn your enemy to your foot too. In the name of Jesus. They will leave you alone. Thank you, Jesus. Be seated. It was harvest of victory. When you talk about great grace and power, they were victorious when they had that harvest. My God give you victory. What is the harvest of great grace and power? The harvest of great grace and power is a demonstration of the supernatural power of God. And there's somebody here listening to me. Even in your business, in your career, in your life endeavor, God will manifest his supernatural power. Because when God manifests his supernatural power, God make you stronger. God make you what? So that you become a terror to your enemy. So that your fear will be upon your enemy. Can I pray for somebody? You are going to be watching stronger and stronger. Those that you used to be afraid of shall be afraid of you. Those that you used to run away from, they will be running away from you. Those that used to win you, they, you will defeat them. In the name of Jesus. Can you lift up your hand and say, Father, let me have harvest of great grace and power. Endure me with your supernatural power. Feel me to overflowing with your supernatural power. Thank you, my father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Be seated. What is the harvest of great grace and power? The harvest of great grace and power is the harvest of abundance. The harvest of what? Go and read your Bible. After that great grace and power that we are talking about, the Bible says the apostles, they never lack anything again. He said people will sell what they have and bring the proceeds to their feet. Praise the Lord. Not only that, among all of them, nobody has any need. Whatever need anyone has, it is met. Brother, how, will, how great will you be when you are coming to church and you are so sure and you are so confident that there will be no any need, either physical, spiritual, financial, all your needs are met. Sir, I am praying for you. From today, in this season of harvest, that is the realm you will be operating. When they will ask you, what do you need? You just look around, look around and say, I lack nothing. No more lack in my life. I don't need anything. Amen. Amen. Remember the story of the Shunammite woman in the book of Second Kings, chapter four. Elijah asked the servant, "Go and call the woman." Call the woman came. He said, "What do you need? Should I mention you to the king? Do you need landed property? Do you need a car? Do you need a house?" The woman took a look at the man of God and said, I don't have any need. Okay. I'm okay. I'm among my, king, my people. I know the king. I'm connected. I have everything. Praise the Lord. 
And that's why the Bible describes her as a great woman. Praise the Lord. When you lack, when you no longer have any need, you become a great man and woman. Can I pray for you, sir? When great grace come upon you, you become great. How many of us want harvest of greatness? Oh my God. The harvest of great grace and power is harvest of greatness. And when eventually they observe that, oh, the woman, it is true, you don't have anything, but there's still a need in your life. Uh, you don't have a child. Okay, have a baby. Praise God. And she had everything. Where do you know you can get to that level? Look at me. I said, do you know you can get to that level? When a day is coming, you will not have need for anything. I was overhearing a man of God ministry yesterday. And he said there was a time in his life that he used to use a particular kind of car. That soon Nissan. Praise God. Very old car. He said the car himself have even changed hand many several with many people before he got to his turn. Praise God. Many it is what? Eh? Maybe ten hand. Praise the Lord. He said, but he kept using it until he also now transferred to another person. He said, but that was then. He said, but today now, the devil will come and ask, which of the car are you using today? Which one should I bring out? Ah, lift up your two hands. It's a season of harvest. So. And now I'm praying for you, sir. My God will make you great. Because the result of great grace and power is greatness. Lift up your two hands. In business, you become great. In your career, in your profession, in ministry, you become great. Lift up the hand and say, Father, let me have a great grace and power. And make me great on every side. That I will lack nothing. Can you go ahead and touch the Almighty God? Kariba kota gazanta le baba ko prokoto gazike ten de le mama. They lack nothing. They lack nothing. They lack nothing. Kapo santa le mama ke ke telebro kasanda le mama ke kuta daba kasiande go barika koto ba ye kaka proma kasiande le bo chantali. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. I thought somebody would say better, amen. amen. Mm, be seated in his presence. Let me jump. Who can get the harvest of great grace and power? Who? Brethren, look at the Bible passage we read very well. You discover that this harvest did not just come. That's why we tell you that you sow nothing, you reap nothing. Did you, have you heard that before? You sow nothing, you reap nothing. Oh, you can see how fantastic the harvest of great grace and power can be. You can see that the harvest of great grace and power put you above your enemy, grants you victory, takes you where you lack no more. Makes you operate in the realm of signs and wonders. But who can get this harvest? Number one, as I begin to round up. Beloved, the harvest of great grace and power are for those that are ready to serve God. And that's why I'm begging you, I'm begging you, man. Don't be a nominal Christian. Don't be an ordinary Christian. Make up your mind to serve God with all your heart, with all your strength, with all your might. The apostles were ready. They said, we want to preach the gospel with boldness. They cried to God. They declared willingness to serve God. And God responded with a harvest of great grace and power.
power. Can I ask Buddha? Can I ask Uma? Are you ready to serve God? Are you ready to serve God with all your heart? Mark my word. He will respond with harvest of great grace and power. The harvest of greatness is for those that are willing to serve God. Number two. Harvest of great grace and power are for those that are willing to pray. Are willing to do what? And can I pray for you, sir? Every prayer you have been praying for years, ah, may the Lord answer you with harvest of great grace and power. The Bible says when they were passing through the persecution and the attack from the elders and the chief priests, they went into their closet and prayed and cried to God and reported the enemy and God answered. The harvest of great grace and power are for those that are willing to pray. Brethren, I keep on telling you, sir, you are blackmailing God. When you are facing a situation and you come before me and you are telling me, eh, Daddy, I have prayed. What are you saying? That God did not answer you? I have prayed. What are you saying? That God does not answer prayers? If you have prayed and you have not seen results, pray more. Fast more. He will surely answer. Read the story of Daniel. The Bible says God answered him day one when he started his prayer, but he didn't know. Because no answer. Unknown that the priest of Persia with her angel Gabriel that was coming with the answer. Thank God that Daniel kept praying. And because Daniel kept praying, there were divine reinforcement. God had to now send another archangel Michael to go and support angel Gabriel and defeat the prince of, pa of, 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 of Persia before they could deliver answers to Daniel. Who knows that some of the prayer you are praying God has already answered. The only thing that there is no physical manifestation yet and then you now give up. I know they go good man Holy Spirit again. Last year I was there. I didn't get anything. Meanwhile, you are giving up at the verge of breakthrough. Don't be ignorant. Understand spiritual things and stand your ground in the place of prayers. And can I pray for somebody here? When do you want your prayer? We answer. Amen. Lift up your two hands to heaven because you will get your harvest. I say you get your harvest. Harvest of answer prayers. Lift up your two hands and say, Father for all the prayers I have been praying give me harvest of great grace and power go ahead and talk to the almighty God for the prayer you have been praying they said they prayed until the whole place was shaking but they pray with all your strength pray with all your heart God answer prayer he said call upon me I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things that you know and know masuka pokoto gaziandala Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Finally, as you are standing, this one has to do with relationships. Either families, church, and what have you. Brethren, you want harvest of great grace and power. Anywhere you are, be in unity. Beware. It is a reward for unity. Unity in a home, unity in the family, 
unity in the workplace, sir. Once there is unity in a place, one of the harvests is great grace and power. Check your Bible. Before they prayed, the Bible said they were in one accord. Is there in the Bible? After they even now got the harvest, the Bible said, and they continue united. Don't be an agent of sowing discourse anywhere you are. Be an agent of unity. Stop spreading gossip and rumor that will cause division among people, among couples. You deny yourself the harvest. That harvest is for what? A, for those that are what? United. A family that is united will become great. Husband and wife, settle with your spouse. Don't deny yourself your harvest. Because even as I'm praying now, if you are a couple, you are quarreling with your spouse, sir, ma, the harvest will not come. And devil know it. That's why it's causing katakata between you. So it's for you to say, devil, you can't make it. I will make it. Now lift up your tongue and say, Father, make me an agent of unity anywhere I go anywhere I find myself right from my home even the church make me an agent of unity can you go ahead and talk to the almighty God masoka pale brande kason tali mama sale brande kasian tali mama karaba baba 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 karaba to kasian tali mama thank you mighty father in Jesus mighty name we are praying and finally the harvest of great grace and power is the harvest of outpouring harvest of what? how many of us want an outpouring? lift up your oil outpouring of his presence brethren as this oil touches you today presence of God will come upon you afresh you are saying amen, say loud and clear. So as you lift up your head and you lift up your two hands, you will cry loud and cry, say, Father, let there be massive outpouring of your presence upon me now. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Mareba to kashkete li brande. Zorobro koto kashen tali mama kasun tali. Kaka brande kashen tali ya. Lord, let there be outpouring of your presence. Lord, let there be a pouring, a pouring, a pouring, a pouring of your presence. Katoka shiantali mama. Thank you, mighty Father. Korobrokoto gazantali mama. Kare mama kasonto robrokata gazantali. Kamare baba baba baba. Lord, let there be a pouring of your presence. Oh, mashente li mama. Skato li mama. Oh, fill us afresh. Ask God to fill you. Fill you with His Spirit. Fill you with His Spirit. Spirit with His anointing. Thank you, mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. I want to encourage you if you are here, you are not yet born again. Let me tell you because I will not deceive you. <laughs> you have not started. Because before the apostle got to where they got to, they already repented and surrendered to Jesus. So I want to give you opportunity. If you are here, you are here to surrender to Jesus. Can you wave your hand at me? And I pray with you. Because there's going to be outpouring of the anointing right now. And by the power that make God to be God, you will have very great grace and power. As you live here, signs and wonder begin to follow you. As you live here, you will defeat your enemy. As you live here, blessing begin to pursue you. And you will not lack anything anymore. As you live here, you becoming great. You are saying amen. Say it louder than your enemy. As you come now, prepare your offering. You drop it at one, then we anoint you. Why the choir can help us sing? Fill my cup, Lord. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this destiny of my soul. Bread of heaven, fill me till I 
above every other name as you step out of this place right now may the harvest of great grace and power begin to manifest in your life in the name of Jesus that you will become very great Ah, you will not struggle anymore the enabling grace to become what God has ordained you to be. Let the rest upon you that about Jesus. Let the presence of the Most High go with you in the name of Jesus. Be visible upon you in the name of Jesus. 
draw blessing to you in the name of Jesus that henceforth the Lord will meet you at the point of all your needs in the name of Jesus and above all you shall be victorious you will reign over your enemy and you will make it to the end receive grace to serve God I say receive grace to serve God I say receive grace to serve God in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit and the Lord has set our offering and I use this offering as a point of contact in your lifetime you become millionaires God will take you there prosper your businesses prosper your job prosper your career open doors of breakthrough to you connect you to those that matter send help your way and so shall it be in Jesus name who got the bigger blessing let your amen be three powerful solitaire as you go my Lord will go with you I hope to see you on Sunday and then at the Congress the Grace